I'm back. <laughs> so I'm back on YouTube. I didn't quit YouTube. I know I'm believable. Some of you thought I quit YouTube. No, I did not quit YouTube. I just had a longer break, a lot of work, a lot of holiday, a lot of stuff. I didn't really manage to uh, make any new videos. So on Instagram, we came up with this new video series idea since spit on your work if i would start reviewing the renders now i think i'd be finished in 10 years so i'm kind of rebooting this whole thing and changing it up and um we're still or i'm still not sure on what the best name is so if you have some good name ideas uh hit me up on instagram and um yeah, the best name we came up with was Pimp My Shit. Uh, some were very edgy. I thought Pimp My Shit is still maybe on the uh, legal edge. Um, and what the series is about is basically me not just reviewing your render, but fixing your render. So this is the first one I gave a try on. And I thought it's interesting and can be quite educational for beginners, especially to not just see how to model a donut, but to see how to improve your work. Because I know a lot of people and probably even me hit like a wall and don't know like how to improve. So I hope I can help people improve <laughs> their work that they already have done. So this video is going to be super boring, super long. It's unedited. Um, I, like I would edit it, but I already hear the comments saying uh, you cut out all the important parts. So I did not edit it and it's very, very long and boring, but still I think it's worth watching, especially for beginners. Maybe not this series. I think also I myself am going to get better the more series I make, but still this is a good start. Um, you're definitely going to learn something, I'm sure. Uh, this is the render that I got, by the way, and this is the render that I made. It's not the best on earth. But still, um, I think especially the person that made it, uh, linked below, um, he'll learn a lot. And also, hopefully, other people will learn a lot. So, stop talking and let's jump right into this boring, super long Blender tutorial. So, this is the scene. Um, this is the render that I got. So, this is what it looks like. Um, I actually already started working on this and then Blender crashed. So, um, I already know some things. Uh, maybe also good for you so it's not as boring because maybe it was a bit boring till it came up with these things. So, this car has 6 million uh, polygons. That's way too many. Um, after analyzing this car, so let's go to the 3D view real quick. Just go to the default viewer again. Um, maybe add a timeline real quick, wherever this timeline is, there it is. Um, so this car has way too many polygons, as you can see. And I was just starting to hide stuff and always looked at the number and I was like, and I found out there was a motor, hide, 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 hide. And I was like, what is it? What is it? What is it? And I actually found it. And the bad boy doesn't look that high poly until you go into edit mode. I already realize this boy is killing my PC and there you have it. So this is way too <laughs> high poly and it's it's not even round. Um, so we're definitely not going to subdivide this bad boy. And we're going to use a decimate real quick. I could model, like remodel, but I think um, decimate is faster if I wouldn't search for it that long. Reduce it to at least 8 age. So let's go to wireframe mode. There it is. This looks much better. Uh, we're just going to apply this and voila, we lost uh, 5 million polygons. <laughs> oh, and it was also the inside. I didn't even realize that. Wait, where is it here? Wait, do we even need this? Is this the part? Uh, might as well delete it. Um, also, I realized there were double wheels. And oh, because I just unhid everything. Uh, so we're just going to delete all of this. And also you see there's a house suddenly because I unhid it. So there's a lot of craziness here. Um, and that's why I'm actually going to um, extract this out of the file into a fresh blender. So let me open a fresh blender. And also I'm going to reset this blender so you're not confused on what I'm doing. Load factory settings. So now everything's stock and default. We're going to take out this car and drop it here because the other scene like there's a lot of stuff um i think it's better to just do it from the start so you can like anyone can kind of follow along i'm gonna delete this room i'm gonna delete all of this stuff um because we don't need any actually to be honest um, i'm gonna try to s keep the render the same as it was um so this pink here but still i'm gonna yeah just clean everything up we don't need all of these cameras um really don't need all of this. Also, if you want a, a cool little tip, actually. So let's say we're in this camera, you can go to the timeline, uh, control B, yeah, because this camera selected, then this arrow to the right, control B, 
and this arrow to the right so next frame control b and now if we maybe make this a bit bigger zoom in a little bit um and we go to camera mode you see with the arrows i can just toggle through cameras because i'm toggling through keyframes um just a little tip because i saw you had a lot of cameras um we're also going to make a oh god a new camera so actually a complete new camera so i don't overlook your stuff i'm just going to show you how i would have done it um so let's make a camera let's zoom out um oh there's a sphere um we're gonna go to the camera viewport uh display and turn on some composition lines so we've got some orientation here uh we're gonna use a focal length of 35 um you can really use anything but somehow i feel like 35 today something like this maybe i'm probably gonna change it after making the environment we're gonna clean the camera so o and 90 and if you want to shift it we're gonna tilt shift this bad boy um just like this you can rotate it on z maybe even like this a little bit more uh but don't um do this stuff uh, this is too crazy and gives you weird lines so we're gonna save this i already have the old file we're just gonna over save this um, and I'm going to save more often because as mentioned, I already was at this step until Blender crashed. Um, another thing I noticed is there's no smooth shading on these. So definitely smooth shade these bad boys. And also you could use auto smooth and you could use um, weighted normals. Um, you don't really see a difference here, but it should be a bit more accurate around the bevels. So shade smooth, auto smooth. Wait, no. So just clean that up. Also, so you've seen it, there's a crazy ass carbon shader in here. Um, if you ask me, this is way over the top for some carbon, if you could have just been using a texture. Um, but uh, that doesn't really matter. I hope I didn't just crash my vocals. No, they're still running. Um, okay, so save, what do we have? Let's render. Uh, we're gonna be on CPU or Eevee. Uh, we're going to go to cycles, we're going to go to GPU, we're going to go to performance, uh, 512 by 512, just a rule of thumb setting that is probably the best without doing calculations, and optics, um, yeah, I think that's that will work. So you see now it renders way faster. Actually, the other scene, I don't even want to show you, it rendered very slow. Um, also, a thing you should be cleaning up and watching out for, um, I noticed the glass was rendering very strangely. So there are flip normals and surprise, surprise, the glass is flipped. So edit mode, select all, alt N, flip these bad boys. I know it's not for a game engine, but still you can get render issues with flip normals. It's just a good practice to have yeah, non-flipped normals or all normals flipped, but not some flipped, uh, some not flipped. That's always, oops, that's always not so good. Control L to get, oh God, this one part, isolate with slash. So let's try to get this, oh God, oh my God, oh my good. Okay, maybe there's a material on this. No, oh my God, oh no. Okay, we're gonna um, right click, merge by distance. Maybe we can get it now, yes and uh, alt and flip these bad boys so there you have it uh oh no i don't i don't want to touch this okay right click do this try to actually other way around like this get this control l flip these bad boys with my knee uh, oh my good oh my good oh no i don't want to do these boys so you could have used instances. I don't know if this is your model or if it's like uh, imported or something. Wait, why is the caliper flipped? What the hell? Okay, the calipers maybe you could flip, um, like not just the normals, but like the whole caliper. <laughs> uh, but I won't do that. I think no one will notice, especially we're just gonna look at the car from one angle. Um, oops, control L, flip, so. Just like this. Um, the bottom, I don't even know what this is. The cockpit, I guess we just leave it. No one sees it. What's under here? Oh, also flip boys. Um, so get these. Also, oh, not everything. Maybe, oh, 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 recalculate outside. Yep, that worked. That is okay. What's happening down there? Um, yeah, like this stuff. I don't know. That's okay. We won't see it. Um, I don't know if this is correct. Wait, what's this? Okay, let's delete this. Okay, unhide everything again. I think we can work with this. So turn that off again. And we will just start adding a cube. 
um, G, Z, one and control A location. So now it has a new origin. I'm gonna scale this up. There's gonna be room. We will um, turn on backside calling, nothing changes, but if we flip the normals, um, then we can look inside, even though the doors are still closed. Most probably know this little handy trick, but maybe some don't. <coughs> okay, um, wait, did I set up a camera? I did, let's go into the camera. Yep, that looks good. So now we got a room, let's save again. Um, let's render again, of course there's no light. So actually my last light setup, I just added a area light, but that was pretty damn boring. So maybe I'll do something different. Um, but what, we could maybe add a roof light. I did a similar render with a Supra once, maybe this is also gonna fit here. Um, so maybe something like this, you know, and we're gonna take a sunlight and just shine this bad boy right in there. By the way, we are standard wise on a Filmic for starting, we're gonna go to standard because with Filmic, you're gonna lose track of power and lights and do some crazy stuff because Filmic always compresses the highlights. So you're gonna over boost light so better to start working in standard maybe even rendering in standard but uh yeah definitely starting in standard so you don't do any crazy stuff damn how many cameras are there um let's go inside see this is interesting maybe um how about this oh, holy moly look at this um yeah that's actually interesting so let's try something like this i'm not sure if we need a sky light or if we just boost in the sun with control b we can clip this down this would be yeah this would be like studio style i think i'm going to keep it dark and give the sun a node and a color node black body you can see it here and give it a warmth of i don't know we'll see maybe like this we'll see um and we're going to boost it to 10 Maybe, I'm not sure yet, maybe to five, not 50. We'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and maybe turn on viewport denoising if you can on your PC. Yeah, for now I'm just gonna do it like this, maybe easier to work in. Um, one little thing also, it's gonna annoy me anyways, sooner or later, the rear lights, because they're just emission and glass uh, so it looks kind of cheap this emission and glass always looks cheap so we're actually gonna google and steal some images uh, this car 400z very very nice car by the way i'm not sure if it manipulated my choice uh, because a lot of people sent stuff um, but yeah this car i really like so i thought this would be a nice project to play around with um so we're gonna is this high quality Let's click it. This looks pretty high quality. Let's download the virus. Give me that virus. Oh no. Give me that. Give me that virus. Come on. There it is. So we're gonna download this image and we're gonna go into here. Um, we're gonna kill Douglas and we're gonna take Prince, Prince Charming and drag and drop what I just stole. Um, Oh, perfect. What's a JPG D? Okay, let's see if we can cheat our stolen uh, image. Um, if I was able to find it. Okay, let's. Okay, this is way too complicated. Let's do the the sneaky, untrackable stealing, aka screenshot. Um, save this to somewhere. Downloads. Go to Mr. Blender and um, also maybe close the other blenders. Never save. And go to downloads and drag and drop this boy. And so there we have it. Um, zero roughness since this is glass. Uh, and we're gonna open up a UV editor. This we don't need anymore. Go to UVs. I really hope I'm still recording. I always get paranoid since last time it crashed. Um, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna need these UVs basically. So we're gonna just quickly cheat our way into these UVs. A high focal length of 150, maybe hide this, no, not this, uh, this cube. Um, and just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but like 
kind of get the perspective. Maybe it's 100 millimeters. Like, I think it's even illustrated. Is this rendered even? I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Something like this, um, project from view, just like this. It won't really fit, but I think it will fit good enough. Yeah, I think this works just fine. I think this will work. Uh, these you don't have to worry about. Or maybe, no, uh, these you shouldn't be worrying about. We They should be mirrored, so we actually got to delete. Control, uh, oh, 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 control L, delete. Check that there's nothing there, it's not. And we're just gonna mirror this. Uh, mirror, where is that mirror, mirror. Oh, perfect, control A, okay, it's not centered, perfect. Okay, and then apply this and just do it. Control L and we're just gonna push this in place like a professional. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, this also isn't perfect. Okay, uh, how does this look? Uh, emission. Yeah, so you see, looks a bit more realistic, don't you think? And look at this, I know you like modeled it, looks great and stuff, but why modeled if you could just steal it? Come on, man. Um, so, same procedure. Uh, let's go to our ripped image in this bar. Um, just semi steal the perspective like this. You project by view and rip it. Yeah, maybe not all of it. Rip half of it. So, like this. And the other stuff. Yeah, just kind of have it here. Hope it doesn't have artifacts. And we're gonna have the same material as here, control link materials. Um, that totally didn't work, why not? Because we got multiple materials. Oh God, delete all of these boys and control L, link these boys. Wait, where's, hey, come on, hey, hey. Where are you? Where is you, my brother? Come on now. Huh? Where is it? Wait, what is this? Is this the same? Wait, wait. Hey, where did you guys come from? Oh, okay, we're gonna delete all unused materials. Ah, there you have it. Rear something, and also same here. Uh, yeah, go away. What was the wrong material? Because this had way too many. Oh, this looks perfect. No, of course, I'm kidding. I don't know why. This is so strange. Oh, I see. If this ain't perfect, I don't know what is at this point. Um, so you see this is how you can easily steal stuff from other people. Um, yeah, You shouldn't, of course, but like, will he worry is the question. Yeah, I'm just using a proportional editing, trying to squeeze in these corners here because they're yellow, but actually, uh, gonna enlarge in this selection um, or actually oh, god damn okay we're gonna take uh, this strip here and this strip here enlarge in this selection here and we're just gonna put it here <laughs> okay perfect of course it's a bit blurry but for our shot I think that's good enough okay now that we finally fixed that um, also here, we could, uh, now that I'm at it, we can go full steel action. Take this beautiful exhaust, come on. Uh, select it, extract it with P here. And we're gonna do the same procedure again now that I keep stealing stuff. I could just save this camera at this point. So we're gonna unwrap it, project from view. Just, uh, kind of like this, I guess. Oh, we can turn back off. And basically, I'm just gonna uh, uh, wait. What's happening? Um, yeah, just kind of match the shape, kind of, and just kind of rip these textures out of there. And also, what do we have here? Pure glossy. Um, I recommend 
staying with principle. You could use glossy, but you could also use principle. Uh, principle can pretty much do everything at this point. Don't really need any other shaders. Um, okay, that kind of didn't work, but it gives it some detail. <laughs> Let's make it metallic. Let's make it 0.1 roughness. Uh, not very great, but I think it gives it some detail. Where's my room? Yeah, we probably won't see it anyways. Okay, let's hop over to this insane carbon shader. Probably pretty nice, um, but I trust in old school textures. It just works, you know? Like, why make it so complicated if you can just plug in a texture? Like, who am I to judge? But I call this way easier, man. Let's do a normal map. And let's do, oh, we don't have the node Wrangler because I reset everything. So go to preferences, go to add-ons, go to no Wrangler, enable this boy. Control T and get the value node right there. And also save, don't forget to save. And go to material preview. So there we have it, beautiful Corbin. Maybe let's do like this beautiful boy. And no color detail, very important. And what's on here? Is this the same? What's this? Let's just delete this. <laughs> and also the UVs don't seem to be the same. Let's join these two objects. Does it have some modifiers? Oh yes, oh God. Okay, never mind. Uh, first delete, no, not delete, apply. And then you can join these. Um, why am I doing this? Just to get an even scale on the UVs. Um, so control A, uh, reset the scale. And um, I'm just gonna do a yeah, cube project. Yeah, that works fine. I don't know if I just broke your um, UVs that you did by hand forever. Um, I hope not, but I think this should also work. And on these parts, we're gonna flip them for, uh, 90 are 90 so they have the same flow wait they already had the same flow i'm always so confused wait were they already good mm, oh maybe they were good okay we're gonna just leave them as they were um we're gonna of course make it black as the net and we're gonna give it a clear coat too and maybe metallic not sure We'll see how it looks in the render. Maybe give it a little bit of boost though. There you have it, perfect carbon. Wasn't complicated, was it? Um, what do we have here as a car paint, by the way? Mm -hmm, okay, crazy ass uh, carbon, but simple ass car paint. But actually interesting, simple, solid, I must say. Why not? I don't think we'll see this. Um, might as well just kill it. I do see it, I guess. Oh, it's a cool car paint. Like, very, very simple. Nice. We'll leave this. I like this. Okay, what's happening with Mr. Tire? Oh, yeah, zero specular. Yeah, you really want zero? Not sure you want 0.5 specular tint? Maybe not. Maybe it's good. Maybe this is a good car paint. This is a cool, simple car paint. Okay, what do we have here? Some texture, I guess we leave that. Um, yeah, our glass has issues, so we're gonna delete the glass. We're gonna use a transparent shader. Oh, and a transparent, no, oh my God. We're gonna use a transparent shader. Hook this bad boy up. We're gonna take a glossy boy. Hook this boy up. We're gonna mix these two boys together, just like me. And we're gonna use a layer weight and use facing and usually this already works if you want to use it in Eevee, which we won't. Um, go to blend mode, go to alpha blend. Um, there it is. Ah, roughness, zero. Doesn't that look like beautiful glass? And we maybe have to reduce the darkness probably like this. And you can, if you want, give it a yeah, slight green, but then kill saturation. We'll see how it looks in the render later. Um, and this should probably be black. Control L, link materials. Yep, 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 yep. I think we can work with this. Um, maybe they should be silver, but I don't know, but I, I really wanna see red ones. 
Oh, look at these boys. Um, yeah, they don't really look red. Why not? What's up with these? Or is it just my light busting? Let's put specular 0.1, roughness 2, also 0.1. Wait, what? Oh, that's why. There's a double one. There's a sneaky ball hiding. Okay, save. Ah, oh, nice. Look at these. Let's make dark red. Oh, look at them. Yeah, there's also no real rules to this challenge. I don't know like what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do at this point. Also not sure. Maybe make black. Maybe like this. Okay. Too bad we don't see the bars barely. But we'll see how the light looks later. The car is blue. I like that. I'm not sure if I should keep it blue. I see you like blue, but I kind of want to use the, the standard color. <laughs> yeah, I might be changing this. We'll see if I keep it blue. I just personally don't like blue that much. <laughs> but I also want to destroy your art. I kind of like this yellow. And also the camera, actually, now that I'm seeing this, I also like it. Let's lift the camera a little bit. You see a bit on the top and tilt it down. More like this. Yeah, I, s I s think I'm still going to go with 35, though. Yeah, maybe like this. Or lower. Hmm. Maybe lower. Maybe like this. And maybe rotate it like this. Yeah, maybe like this. Okay, um, let's see what kind of a floor we can... Wait, does this have a clear coat, by the way? Ah, I see. Clear coat, too. And what about the mirror? What do we have here? Like on the mirror, um, actually, this is a place... Oops. What the hell? Uh, this is a place you can use only glossy because it's like really just a mirror. Zero. Oh, we also have it here, I guess. Nah, that's okay. So now we have pure mirage. And what do we have on here? Mm, maybe too complex for my taste because that's probably just black piano paint. So just no roughness and black. I think that's totally fine. Um, yeah, headlights, I would do the same trick as in the rear, but I guess we're just going to render the rear, so we won't see it. Could also render the front. Hmm. Yeah, we could render the front also, but somehow I like the rear because I really like the design. Um, also, we could shrink wrap some like um, bolts in here. How did you put this boy on here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess leave it like it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is okay. Um, what else can we get out of this image? Let's go back to 3D. I guess we can start um, creating some detail into this background. So we're going to first drop our focal length in the viewport so we can actually start working here. Actually, I like to use 28 when I'm indoors, you know, so I can really see it. Um, and we're going to use a cube, I'm just going to lift it up, um, scale it like this, maybe like this, or rotate it 90, and do like this, actually, uh, lift it to the top, and, oh, that could actually look cool in the light, um, array, and maybe like, not that way, this way, not sure, oh. maybe like this, I don't know, <laughs> maybe like that. Uh, let's see how the light looks like. Maybe it looks interesting. Oh, interesting. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Uh, maybe we can also, with these holes, make it bigger. Maybe actually, uh, that's pretty interesting. I like that. Let's do that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if we're already going to play around with contrast. Medium. Yeah, that's medium contrast. Um, let's give it some textures. What type of floor can we give it? I guess rock. <laughs> Not carbon rock, but just normal rock. Um, oh, like a dusty floor, maybe. How about that, huh? Or 
what do they have? Tire. Oh, this is muddy tire. Or I think there's something with tracks, like tire tracks, yeah, like this, you know. Maybe this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so we don't need snow. Maybe I can like mix it. Or let's just take snow. I guess snow doesn't make much sense. But I'm very tempted uh, in just using a snow floor. <laughs> P, extract selected. So we're gonna get this boy out of here. Go in the shader editor, call this floridge and drag and drop these two boys in here. This is the albedo. This is Mr. Normal. We're gonna add a normal map. No, map, no, normal. Normal map, no color detail. And control T with node Wrangler on. Value node, hook this up, hook this up. And maybe go to material preview. And also don't forget to save. Do we have UVs on this thing? No, let's also, so control A, scale all of this cube stuff and the floor and everything actually. U, cube project just to like yeah, average down this thing. Floor, I'm gonna flip it. Wait, and also maybe go to something square. Um, flip it. And wait, why is this? Wait, I guess uh, we can look at the tire tracks and kind of tweak it so it kind of fits. I don't know. Does, wait, is this a tire? It doesn't fit. Maybe seven. Does this fit? And also, actually, we could mix these. Yeah, how about that? We're going to take a second one. Shift D and a mix shader. And sometimes you're commenting like, oh, I can't even see anything in the shader editor. The joke is I also can't. I work blindly. I don't see what it says here or anything, but I can tell you it's a mix shader. <laughs> I just work like this. I don't even see what I'm doing usually. I just also just, uh, yeah, do it from a distance. Uh, maybe take this and this. Um, and we're going to swap it. So I guess it was this. <laughs> and I guess it was Mr. Crashy. Uh, this. I guess 2K is almost overkill. 2K tiffs, uh, maybe not necessary. And we're going to use a noise texture and we're going to hook the factor to the factor maybe move it up here and we're going to use once the shader is compilated the scale so you see we're mixing the two shaders but this has to be way more fucking aggressive um noise no not noise math or no actually color wrap or math no let's use math i guess power should work well so this and we can clamp it so it doesn't boost into minus territory and do super crazy insane RGB craziness. <sighs> Should have used smaller textures so the compilation goes quicker. So see we're just gonna punch in some contrast. Hmm. I have to think we still need a ramp in between here or a multiplier or something. Doesn't really matter. Why does this take this long again? God damn it. Yeah, but that's 3D life. <laughs> that's how it is. Yeah, this is better. Okay, so you see there's coming up and we're going to add uh, detail. And uh, I don't think maybe. Nah. Tiny bit, maybe. And um, scale, let's start with one. Uh, we should probably, I uh, probably need something that pans this through. Now we could pan it with UVs. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hook up UVs. Um, I guess we're going to use this then. Like this, I mean. 
I've no idea how long this is already recording. I hope it's not taking too long. Um, yeah, just push it around into a spot that maybe makes sense. <laughs> maybe like this. I don't know. Let's render. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, let's add a third one. <sighs> That's just smooth. No, it's also weird. Actually, a shiny floor is maybe better. Now that I think about it. Well, let's see what we can put on the walls. Let's add some brickage, maybe just some white bricks or this, maybe this. How about this? Um, let's try this. Um, let's do a smaller one. I don't think we need a normal map for this because it's simple enough. So walls, P, extract, new material, walls, save. Um, there it is. And get Mr. Wall, Albedo. The wall usually is pretty damn rough. Um, oh yeah, also this floor is pretty damn rough. Or maybe how on the snow, uh, good that I named stuff so I know what the snow is. Yeah, maybe just add low roughness on the snow. Uh, I don't know if it will look good. It also doesn't really make sense, but maybe it's good. Maybe also, oh yeah, careful, careful. Um, maybe. Uh, wait, and what about the scale of the sand? Does it look good? I guess, kind of. <laughs> um, okay, what's up with our wall? Did I already add it? I did add it. No, what did I add it to? Oh, the ceiling. No, that was wrong. Control L, link material, so ceiling. Go away, go home where you came from. Um, oh, this actually already looks good <laughs> as it is. Uh, how does this look here? Not too bad, um, but I think I'm gonna desaturate it. Saturation, and give it 0.1 saturation, just so it's more white. <clears throat> I'm not sure what we're gonna do on the top, and also we're gonna need dirt here. Oh God, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna use a ambient occlusion node that I think finally works inside of optics. I, I pray to the blender gods, it does. So mix shader, uh, we're gonna mix, I don't even know what we're gonna mix. Maybe a principal shader, maybe a diffuse shader. No, maybe a principal shader <laughs> is enough. Or we could use this dirt down here maybe even, uh, but let's do like this first. Um, yeah, I mean occlusion shader only works in cycles probably. Yeah, perfect. Uh, oh, actually it does work. Yeah, so, and we're gonna use noise. Oh God, I didn't really intend making a complex shader uh, mix. Let's take this mix. Uh, what I'm doing here is giving these corners dirt in case you're wondering what the hell is this boy doing? Um, we're gonna mix these. No, we're not gonna mix these. We're gonna math up these two boys. Can we math? them or do we need the vector math? Let's see. Yeah, a bit hard to see with this lighting. Um, let's do it like this maybe. And maybe as a test, make the dirt part red. So we actually see what's happening here or actually emission. Red, yeah, that's what I thought. I think um, we need vector math. Yeah, so, oh, never mind. Or is it the add? Oh God, my PC is exploding. Um, uh, uh, what the hell? Uh, um, A oh, white noise, what the hell was I doing? That's not great. Hmm. How are we gonna mix these together? Oh, oh my God. 
Okay, that's what I intended to do all of this time. Um, add some detail. Actually, this looks pretty damn good. Um, give it a rampage, maybe, and maybe pump up that rampage into none of these directions. Um, actually, maybe another. Uh, multiply this. Why does it unplug? Uh, no, that totally doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, maybe before I keep breaking stuff, maybe I should just be happy with this. Um, okay, let's make this dirt color. Actually, we downloaded Mr. Dirt, so why don't we use Mr. Dirt? Let's get him over here. Um, is this dirt? Is this dirt? Is this dirt? This looks like dirt. To me, are you Mr. Dirt? Not very dominant dirt. Uh, I don't think we need this. I think we need this. It's kind of there. Um, probably, we. I think we do have to boost this. How do I boost this? Oh God, oh my God, I'm, this won't work. Should be boosted enough. There it is. Why is it not visible enough? It has to be stronger. Yeah, this has to be stronger. I need more boost here. Um, add? No, no. Multiply. Sorry for pulling you through this process here. Um, I'm not super good at vector math, I admit. Um, so as you can see, this is how I solve problems. <laughs> yeah, it's totally not working. Um, wait, was this not hooked up? Oh, I think it was. I don't even know how do I, this looks interesting. How do I boost this? Am I dumb? Also interesting. <laughs> uh, why does this not work? I don't get it. Our power, isn't there? I guess power doesn't exist. Uh, perfect. Maybe this is already my issue here. Maybe not dot product, but I think it's... Actually, this is, this is also not too bad. Actually, this is pretty good. Um, oh, 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 not very strong though. But maybe from here. Now we have it. God damn it. This is what I kind of intended to do all this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we probably need the same thing on the floor as well. Okay, and also over here, now I wasted a ton of time. Um, maybe like some type of gate would be nice. Just pooling it a little bit. I just extruding it. I, I don't know. Did I extrude it? No. Extrude it a little bit in. I, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Um, maybe extrude it out. I don't know what the hell a door looks like. Um, yeah. Give the door door texture. Uh, let's give it. Hmm, maybe there's something here. <laughs> Oh, this is actually interesting. Why did I not just use this? Um, uh, maybe metal. <coughs> uh, maybe this. Uh, do we need a normal map? <sighs> Let's take it. Okay. 
Um, let's take a simple material that we don't have anymore at this point in the game. Uh, we're gonna take a door material right here. Dalit, uh, or actually make a new one, a sign. Door, damn, I have the feeling this is hella boring, but maybe it's interesting to you. Some people say, why is your video so fast? And then others say, why is your video so slow? So I don't even know what people want at this point. Want it slow, want it fast, like what do you want? I would say just tell me what you want, but every time you do, it just confuses the hell out of me. Uh, so I guess this is just gonna be one of those long videos. Um, let's go to material preview and wait some minutes. Take a zip of your drink. <coughs> And that looks perfect, doesn't it? I think we can just leave it as it is. And we could take this ambient occlusion shader and mix it with rust, but damn, I really don't feel like doing that. Um, also this roof, can I cheat and just take the same material as on the walls? Uh, uh, also apply scale and cube. Huh. Scale is way off. I'm just gonna do it like this. Give the roof the same, maybe. I don't know, maybe actually it looks fine. It just has the same. Um, and also maybe, wait, where's my, did I mix these up? All beta? Wait, what, what is this? Why does it look like this, huh? Shouldn't it look like metal? Why don't you look like metal, my friend? Huh, come on now. I also look like metal here. Oh, perfect. This looks perfect. They hook it up to subsurface scattering. Holy. So there you have it. Perfect gate. Um, I guess. Make it metal maybe. Uh, make it 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 probably. I don't know. I probably should get the roughness map. Uh. Um, okay. We're gonna add a pipe or something here. Make it smooth. Make it... Thick, uh, is the pipe usually here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe add some box here uh, at this point. Like you see, I'm losing creativity um, here, a box. Let's apply scale so we can give it some bevel. Shade smooth. And maybe also just give it the wall material because I'm starting to get lazy at this point. Um, get a cube unwrap. Maybe that looks good. How does this look? Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely need detail, but maybe not this type of detail. Maybe, oh, how about this? Or oh, look at this. Let's get the pipe, move it back. Just give it some like really industrial big stuff. Well, actually this wasn't too bad. Maybe the pipe. Yeah, I think it has to be stuck. And also the pipe just, uh, why not, gets Mr. Door. Uh, apply scale, also UV cube, cube unwrap. Not too bad, actually. <laughs> um, <coughs> what I'd like that there's less light coming from the back. I'm actually gonna cheat this. Make a plane, use emission, but we're gonna use minus one emission. Um, you're like, what the hell is this black magic? And you're totally right. That's what it is, black magic. Um, not visual in camera. Uh, basically what this does is suck in light. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically a black hole. So watch out to not make it too big. Otherwise it might suck in your PC and next might suck in you and then the rest of the world. So this is a very dangerous thing to do. Some people might say it's illegal. Um, so be careful. Um, we're gonna make it non-visible for camera. Uh, here. <laughs> oh, perfect. Ah, there. Oh, that was weird. Took so long. Look. Why does it take so long? That's weird. But you see, now you got... I um, have to see how it looks in the render, but I'm really getting a vignetting almost. Um, got way darker in this room. 
Uh, what I'm kind of missing is the pink. Like I told you, I really want to add this pink. Um, I'm also thinking what would be interesting if there would be a window into a skyline. Ooh, like this is like a parking garage, like a rooftop parking garage, but then I don't know why there's a gate on the right. Um, also, maybe I should start playing with some light. Uh, we definitely need, yeah, let's, maybe let's play with the light a little bit. Let's just flip it around. That's what I like to do and just do some crazy stuff and just see what kind of happens. And sometimes just cool stuff happens. You see how this gets light now? But we could add a light there. But this is already kind of interesting. Actually, I like, yeah, I like how it hits the car. That's pretty damn sick. Um... How about this? Oh, that looks... I call that some beautiful. And we're gonna just add maybe a point light here because I really liked how it hit the door. Like this is unrealistic as fuck, but who even likes realism at this point? <laughs> maybe too small. Maybe we need a bit bigger light. So let's get some areage. Uh, this is like super <laughs> uh, unrealistic as I just mentioned. And I'm also looking to my rendered image mainly in case you're wondering what I'm looking at because you don't see what I'm looking at. But this is interesting. Also, we'll cut into the roof. I have to be careful. Well, I, th I think I like this. So it gives it like a back silhouette. And I still really want to add the pink. Uh, I guess we're going to go with some neon pipes. Uh, how are we going to do this? Or maybe textures.com is something. Neon. Like this, you know? Burger? <laughs> Our badger would be cool. Maybe I even take this. This is actually... Maybe I take this. Like, I don't know why it should say burger, but... You know, can't always choose. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go with what you got. Our red line bar and make it pink. That's actually interesting. I don't know why there would be a red line bar uh, or this. This is sick. I have no idea what it says. Probably something insulting. Oh, this is also interesting, like aiming at the car. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is also interesting. <laughs> why are they all Asian? Uh, I guess only Asians have lit up signs. Um, you're also probably wondering why do I take textures, like I could model this or whatever I could, but I really don't like a clean emission shader on mesh that just really looks cheap. And photos just have more detail, you know? Uh, take high quality, oh, it's a JPEG. Um, we're gonna get a, oh, there's a cool plugin we're gonna use, um, go and save before I lose this. Um, preferences. Uh, also, I don't like how the rear is clipping away. Hmm. Mm, yeah, maybe we have to make the sun bigger. Uh, we'll see. Um, uh, plane or something. Yeah, image as plane. Damn, you're learning a lot in this video. <laughs> uh, let's go to material preview into our black death room. Um, add, uh, go to image, image as plane. Now we're gonna go to downloads and get, uh, what was it called? Sign. <laughs> uh, where's sign? Hello, am I blind or what? There it is, I guess I'm blind. So benefit is it already has the correct, uh, not scale, but proportions, you know? That's kind of important at this stage. Um, how could we do this? I'm gonna set alpha to clip and I think I'm gonna try to not use Photoshop because everyone hates Photoshop. I'm no, just kidding. Um, no, actually, it's kind of not kidding. Actually, everyone does not like Photoshop at this point. But what do you want to do? There's no alternatives. We're gonna use a saturation color. We're gonna, so you see what the hell is this boy doing again? Uh, unsaturate this. And basically what I'm creating here is a mask. So we're gonna use a ramp. Like, uh, it doesn't matter, uh, I guess, if it's before or after. Maybe here's better, a bit more range. Uh, never mind. Wait, why does it? Ah, yeah, because of 
Ah, because of this on the top point. Uh, yeah, so yeah, hook it up like this, maybe. Um, uh, wait, sign? What's this? Also sign? Huh? The fuck? Uh, not factor. Yeah, color, I mean. Wait, what the hell? Ah, here it is. So um, what I'm creating here is a mask. So I'm just clipping out this back. And that's what we're going to use in alpha. <laughs> Pretty fresh, ain't it? So you see now I uh, alpha this boy without Photoshop. Pretty cool. Look at this. And now we're going to hook the color into color and into emission so it actually glows. And basically, look, it clipped it out. Pretty cool. And now if you render, it's going to like glow onto the wall. Pretty fresh is that. I just came up with this trick. No, actually, I did just come up with this trick. Uh, I don't know when I used this trick the last time in my life. Okay, it's throwing a shadow, I think, but that's no problem. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, at this point, no, do this, do this. Ah, perfect. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, this is better than I thought. That's pretty fucking sick. Okay, let's push it over maybe onto this fence. No, actually, maybe it's a good spot. I'm just testing around before I get stuck with something that could be better. Yeah, like on the top, so it also reflects, you know? Oh, so nice, look at this. But I actually like, because I really want to fill this area here, finally, with something that maybe actually it's better over here. I wonder what it says. I bet it's just some Chinese restaurant. Okay, actually, I like it here. That's still kind of glowing here. And also, the red lights aren't really glowing. Let's see if we can fake this. Um, it's slowly coming together. I'm happy uh, for, like, uh, while doing this video, I kind of lost hope. And if this video is not recording, I think I'm going to commit suicide. Uh, I really don't want to do this again. I hate doing things the same like again like multiple times it's probably recording let me check <laughs> now i'm scared oh my god it's saying record oh okay Whew! i don't know if you see this or if this is not showing up but damn i was recording okay i almost got a heart attack there for a second um let's add this light actually this also looks nice um make this boy red we could use a black body but Usually lights are like RGB style red, so very red. Um, we don't want it to glow onto that. So just push it back a little bit. Yeah, like this fog looks so good. Um, make it maybe five is enough or even, I don't want to like overdo it. Let's see in the final render. And actually I'm gonna copy and paste this light because the light onto the um, bumper looked pretty nice. So shift D, make it white. That's not white, that's white. Um, okay, what the hell am I doing here? Why can't I see my light? Let's go to 3D view here. Um, yeah, move it back. Oh, look at this. Fuck, so nice. Um, I think it has to be bigger though, probably wider. Also, surprise it doesn't really glow onto the whole thing. I also don't really want it to go onto the floor. Hmm. No, it's not that good anymore. <laughs> maybe I have to put it here so it kind of reflects more. Yeah, maybe like this. Yeah, like this. Look at this. Very fresh. Maybe make it taller. I don't really want to make it stronger, otherwise it's going to start reflecting onto other stuff. Maybe like this, but less. And I also don't want the carbon to do some crazy ass reflections here. Mesh seems to be a bit broken. This is good. Make it even less. Oh, I see what's happening here. 
my black hole is sucking the hell out of this light. Maybe make it like this. Ah, that's it. Oops. Yeah, it's way too strong now without the black hole. Um, yeah, maybe something like this. So you also see that the rear is glass. Hmm. Also need something to see the shape also. Uh, Shift D, reset. I always tend to add too much light also because sometimes like shadow is also important. Sometimes I overdo it. So I have to watch out. <coughs> kind of looking at the rear light here, uh, rear window. So you kind of see the silhouette of the car, maybe. <laughs> uh -huh. And also this rear, I know the black hole is here, but I think we actually maybe need something to cover up the black hole. So I'm not gonna use a light, I'm actually gonna use a plane. So it also throws a shadow. Well, that's also interesting, actually. <laughs> something white back there, maybe I'll do that. Um, Delete it from camera. Just trying to brighten up this little rear here. See, get a little yellow in here, but not on the floor. Eh. Eh. Maybe like this. I don't know if I'm gonna get some weird artifacts here. I think it's, I think it's okay. Oh wait, am I clipping? Ah, this should no it has to throw a shadow. Ah shit! Yeah, I have to move this light back. Uh, is it still enough red? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe like this. Or this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so my floor maybe needs more detail or more black at this point. Maybe I, I, um, I'm probably gonna Photoshop this render, maybe kill some floor. And also this needs light as well. So save, um, I guess another area light. Maybe a round area light. So I'll go to disk and just give this tire some light. Oh, that looks good. Maybe too bright. Maybe like this. I'm still not sure about this black. Maybe my black hole is doing too many weird artifacts. Shit. Maybe I Maybe kill it for a second. Hmm. Maybe I do have to Photoshop. Uh, let's leave it. Or maybe make it bigger again. Yeah, maybe like this. Maybe I'm just gonna Photoshop this part out. Just see how the render looks like. Um, okay, don't really have the pinkness. I really liked his, all right. I guess I didn't like it because this video is about improving shit work, but well, it's still good. Like, of course it's good. Um, like you, maybe you like mine less than his, who knows? Um, but I kind of want to keep his style, you know? I don't just want to completely make a new render. So let's actually just um, screenshot this with the add comment section, perfect. Um, no, save. <laughs> let's get it in here. Downloads. So we're actually I like this red though. I'm not sure 
in this video if I should just really just get sidetracked, you know, and just change everything. Or if I just kind of, yeah, it should be about improving the render and not just making a new render. <laughs> or, um, oops. Also, I don't like this pink because this pink is the pink um, if a texture is missing. <laughs> well, let's see how that looks. I guess we can do that. I guess should I go with the blue car again? I guess he intended something. I can't just change it up, right? Like I can't just, maybe he intended this pink and blue, you know? So I, I'm not really in the position to change it. I don't want to be this annoying art teacher trying to tell people what to do. So I guess I tried to keep it the same. Maybe you intended to have like blue and pink. Maybe actually it's better. Maybe I'm the dumb person. Maybe I just don't understand. <coughs> Maybe this is cool. <coughs> Need another drink. Mm, yeah, this is interesting. Hmm. A little bit more detail. What do you think? Like cables hanging down? Ah, maybe it's Maybe it's also enough. Maybe this is it. I think we need here. There's a way too tight cut. How we can... Yeah, there's a little trick how we could break this cut up. Um, let's get dirt. Uh, there's something just like a decal map like this. Doesn't really matter. Let's take this. Just to break up the curvature. Go to a drill, I guess and shift a and now we can also take our handy dandy image import oh what the hell um oh my god uh image and oh my god image and image as plane and uh downloads and where is it take this and the cool thing is look it's directly alpha um <coughs> rotate it and yeah, we could like snap it on with the uh, snapping, but it doesn't really matter. And also maybe it shouldn't be doing a shadow or maybe it should. No, no, I don't think so. No shadow. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm clicking everything except what I want to click. Um, where's my dirt? There. Uh, I think I'm just going to scale it up. Can't really see it. Uh, yeah, this is a bit too big. And also, I'm actually gonna copy and paste this R Z. Or actually, did I already copy it? Yeah. Delete it again. Take this edge 3D cursor. Take this face. Go to 3D cursor mode with this dot. Shift D R X rotate. Oh God, I don't know if you understood what I just did, but basically, I wanted to do this. Um, and also, I will array like this and also um, right click we can set the three cursor uh, I mean set origins to the 3d cursor we can scale it okay that's way too extreme but you get the point why won't it scale come on Okay, way smaller than I thought. Yeah, let's break up the edge. Oh, I know what definitely will break up the edge, and that's depth of field. Um, but very, be very careful. This is not a depth of field scene, because it's 35 millimeters. Um, but let's try. And it's a dark scene. Uh, maybe it does make sense. So depth of field and go take this empty boy and with F2 we can also call it focus so we don't get confused and delete it later on. Go to the camera, now it's focus and in a dark scene you would use 1.8 or one and uh, 1.4 even. So I think maybe a slight depth of field is okay but it still doesn't break up. And also we got a light cutting through there. Let's fix that. This boy, I guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe just rotate it away from the wall. Yeah. Um, and our sun, how bright is this? And also the sun, maybe a bit bigger. 
So the shadows may be a bit blurred. I don't know, guys. Is this enough? <laughs> Can I show this without getting hated on? Huh? For me being so bad at rendering? Yeah, my dark hole isn't. Oh, it's gone. Oh, that's why this cut was there again. Ah, there it is again. Okay, what else can we change here? Is the carbon even visible? Yes. And this, I guess this looks good. Window. It's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's better, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could hear your voices, but I can't. Uh, I really don't like this edge down there. What can we put there? I think that's the last thing. Um, we could put... Yeah, what can we put there? I guess a pipe. Like this. Let's try that. Um, cylinder. Um, I guess we're gonna do just a simple. Or I guess it is already kind of projected. Uh, let's go shader. Let's add a material. Let's add smooth shading. Also, in this case, let's add. Auto smooth, and let's drop this boy in there. I'm not sure about metallic. I think we don't need metallic, maybe even full rough. And UVs uh, project um, actually by bounds. Where is it? This? No. Yeah. Or you can do this by hand. Something like this. <laughs> um, oh. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, wait, no, yeah, that's... Wait, what? Oh, it's not UVs. Here. Um, this wait, I'm confused. I'm so hella confused right now. Wait, that was correct. Oh. Oh, now I get it. So this, of course, has to be same size. I don't know. <laughs> It is what it is. Ah. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Wait, where is it? I guess also Ray. straight but it breaks it up a little bit ah it breaks it up and now maybe our dirt it's still somewhere here ah here maybe we can scale it up again so it goes beyond maybe that's good and also this pipe I guess can be exchanged with this or maybe just another pipe here Add even more detail. How about that? Um, and maybe... No, oh, that's much. I think we need more of this neon, right? Let me just add a neon here and let's see what this looks like. Also interesting. <coughs> oh, how about we take what he did and bring in the style of this, of these lines actually. So let's do. Let's maybe let's maybe take a style. Maybe 
like on the wall there's these stripes like we'll need texture of course uh. what's up with selecting a new blender like back in the old days selecting worked way better maybe too distracting this is interesting though or maybe this goes here and this goes quite distracting as well but I think that's interesting maybe even more thin How about that? Or like patches, maybe array this again. Oops. I don't know. <laughs> Oops. This brings in some pink or below. Like lights here. So this, I guess, can go a bit closer to the wall. Watch out. I don't know. It was better before. abstract but it's interesting it's kind of like futuristic I don't know what the hell these things do but it kind of is cool but now the whole weight of the image is a bit off maybe cropping is enough let's see if we can just shift it a little bit to balance it out Oh, no, 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 no. Or? Ah, it's a bit too much. This is better. This is a bit too much. It's not balanced. But I like it. Maybe onto the door, but that's weird. Just one? It's a bit weird. Or maybe like here. Just doesn't make sense though. Like not that it has to make sense, but I think this does make enough sense. Ah shit. Maybe just like lights that were put there. Doesn't really make, <laughs> I don't know, a bit strange. But it does balance the image a little bit. Let's put them back where they were. I did like this. I like this, but we're missing something. We're missing something. I guess the red could balance it out. Maybe stronger. Or dangerous. But I could rotate the sun. Hmm. So definitely balance it, but looks ugly. Or maybe it's good. Shit, is it good? Fuck, maybe it's good. Actually, I think it's good, right? Uh, maybe it's better this way. But then there's no red on the floor. I actually like that. Oh, right, there's kind of maybe like this. Hmm. Oh. 
Nah, not sure. I think this is better, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay, the image is not very balanced, I admit. I think maybe I just crop it in in Photoshop. Um, so, we're gonna render now. Fuck it. So, standard uh, rendering, depends on if we're doing a wallpaper, this would be a rendering. Yeah, we're gonna crop this in. Maybe even crop it in now then. Um, so let's go to Mr. Camera. Um, hello, camera, hello. Uh, we're gonna move it in a little bit actually then, not 35. Or we walk in. Yeah, actually zoom out a little bit. Give it a little air. Maybe this is good. Or we move the sign to here, maybe. I'm really unsure. Yeah, a bit, maybe. What about these? What if we just move them here? So there's some sun on the roof. Maybe too distracting, but it is, uh, maybe it gives it a bit more detail, but it is quite distracting. God damn it. You see, this process is probably the process that l takes the longest. Just trying to pretend like you're an artist drawing the Mona Lisa, but it's just a car no one cares about. Uh, Maybe this was too much. Let's take it away. Actually, <laughs> to be honest, it was pretty distracting. I think I'm going to take them away. Fuck! But maybe hard, like, on the floor? Like, I don't know. Like, here? <laughs> Damn, you must be so bored at this point. Like, whoever's still watching, like... What the hell is wrong with you, man? Yeah, actually, this is interesting. At least gives it some framing also. Maybe not too bad. This is interesting. This kind of frames the whole image. Have to make it thin enough so I don't actually have to add texture on this thing. Because I don't think I'll texture this. Oh, maybe like road. Maybe this is like the parking slot, but they're like glowing. <laughs> uh, Wait. Should there be more? Oops. <laughs> Pretty weird idea. At least they kind of got a place now. Kind of frame the shot. But I think thicker again, like this. And also the space between not these, but these closer, like this. And if you ask me what the hell this is, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it and don't add this weirdness. What if I add another of this weirdness over here? Probably getting too bright. That's pretty damn weird. <coughs> yeah. Maybe lower them. Just so have a little bit of glow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's take them away again. No, let's keep them in so it kind of looks like the original render. Let's look at it again. Yeah, 
It looks a bit more like the original. I'll leave them. The sun color, probably fine. Or, oh my god, just stop it. Just stop it at this point. How about, it's like on the wall here, did I already try that? <laughs> like, just like this? <laughs> How about this? <laughs> I'm not really sold. <laughs> Let's go back to the line. The line is interesting. It gives it some kind of flair. Okay, the blue is a realistic blue, I'd say. I think we can work with that. I don't know. This is a bit noisy, like the whole image. I don't think the whole composition is that great. Um, but yeah. Let's render. I'm gonna render on the open image, denoiser. Let's see how quick it renders. I'm gonna bump this up actually, so it's a bit focused. Let's see how this goes. Probably renders pretty fast. Remaining one hour. Hell no! Um, oh, when I guess I forgot to turn on the open image denoiser. Perfect. Um, I'm not sure if I can still save it. Even though it's a post effect, but I also don't have the denoising. <laughs> Let's see if the compositor can save this. I really don't want to render again. Um, yeah, noisy. Yeah, we don't have the denoising data. Oh my god, I think I have to render again. Shit. Yeah. But also. Uh, I really think I'm going to delete these lines. <laughs> so yeah, let's render that again. So it is finally rendered, not perfect quality, but I guess we can work with this for now. So Alt S, um, I guess, yeah, let's put the downloads. Let's use uh, tiff 16 uh, we don't need alpha but doesn't matter and go now we're gonna go to light round uh, lightroom look at my beautiful airplane photos that i made uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> and import our rendering so and i already seen this little thumbnail it's really not a great composition but I don't know, it's okay. So first thing we're gonna do, cause I'm kind of actually am now annoyed by yeah, how it looks like the crop. So I think I'll crop out the floor a little bit. That's already annoying me. Yeah, I have to see some light, otherwise it's confusing. Ah, shit. I don't know, I'm still a little bit unhappy about this. Maybe this is okay. Um, let's see what auto does. Nothing good, but just so I see what's going on here. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do. I'm just going to go through these values and see. Also, uh, before I do this, maybe actually I'm going to add some clarity and some texture. Or actually lower texture and add some clarity. Yeah, more like this. Also, I know for sure on these tires. I'm gonna also add um, some yeah, clarity, like this, and 100% here as well, already did that, and a lot of darkness, we've got some bit oversaturated over here I'd say, so I'm pulling in a fade, maybe killing saturation a little bit, okay. like this. <laughs> And also maybe darker as well. Maybe like this. Also, I'm gonna give the whole car a spotlight. I have to kind of watch out so things don't pop. Maybe turn down general expo oops, uh, turn down general exposure. Hmm. Maybe like this. Um what else? We could pull a 
cold fade from here. Like this. So it kind of fits the color. You see this turned blue. And also on the circle on the car, maybe you have to watch out with the car paint, but give it some warmth, just a tiny bit. And also maybe pull down from here and give it some warmth. So you just got a bit more interesting colors between cold and warm, but it's a little bit all over the place. We can try to control the colors a little bit, take out maybe, uh, maybe these oranges a little bit. Red, I guess we need. That's okay, we can actually boost it a little bit. Um, there's some weird yellows. You see in the window and yeah, the floor. Take it out a little bit maybe. Greens, we really don't need in case we have it. Yeah, kill it to be sure. This is the car paint. Actually, pink car paint is also interesting. Take a bit more turquoise. boost it a little bit um, and we got some purples yeah we need the purple there but not in the car oh, we kind of need it yeah I'm gonna shift it a little bit and pop it up a little bit there's a little bit and pinkage probably don't need yeah. yeah here's a bit strangeness let's see if we can saturate it away but probably not yeah I have to be careful here yeah let's leave it um and maybe we already have this yeah we have to definitely desaturate this purple here oh okay ah. more like this we didn't break anything else and also like actually another <laughs> fade um, get down yeah look exposure so it doesn't like bust into here just have to watch out so our glowing sign doesn't get broken as well uh, where's the rotator here so our wheel maybe like this aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. not too bad actually <sighs> the roof it's like, I like the roof, but it is quite distracting. Maybe also a glow here, probably ugly. Uh, maybe not ugly. Yeah, maybe we're just going to boost this up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, maybe we need some texture around the rear. Oh, and the carbon. Yeah, let's make this carbon pop. Exposure, have to watch out. And uh, texture, definitely. So I really get this texture. Yeah, maybe a bit strange. I guess that's just how the shading is there. Yeah, so it really gets some popping carbon. What else can we pop? No. Mm, no. Mm. I guess we could try to pop the floor here with also texture and clarity. Yeah, look at these. I hope it's not too much. <laughs> and damn, I think I'm going overboard a little bit. And um, I think it's okay. I guess I don't have any color grading on top now. Why it's a tiny bit, but be careful at this point. I'm kind of going way overboard. What I also like to do sometimes is like color grade extreme and then in Photoshop, put it over the old rendering, kind of just mix it in. Actually, I might do that because I think maybe I'm going a bit too crazy here. Yeah, let's go to Photoshop and drop the other boy on there. Uh, 
this into Photoshop. God damn it. Ah, won't fit, of course. So let's do. Ah, I think I have to rasterize it though. Um, layer, align, or oh, I could have just um, changed. Ah, oh, shit. Should have just changed the crop. Yeah, let's close this real quick. Maybe don't change the crop in Lightroom. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna get some issues. So, I think this is the original. Edit in Photoshop. And now we will drag and drop this onto there. And you can see now I can just slide it in or even paint it in. It's like a bit less extreme maybe is actually good because I think I popped it a bit too hard. Yep. And let's look at the original real quick. It's definitely better than the original render. Could even maybe Photoshop this again. <laughs> no, I think it's good. Um, yeah, I think this is good. And what was the original? So this is where we started. Yeah, I made this out of the same car, which is interesting, I think. I didn't change the model, I just changed the shading. But otherwise, it's like the same car. <laughs> even the same car paint shader, different color. So we did it, that's it. That was the very first time I improved someone's work. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs>